Washington, D.C. is the nation's capital, the home of D.C. United. And for us, our stadium gets to be a cornerstone for our community. In addition to that, we get to bring great events together, such as FC Byron coming to Audi Field in Washington, D.C. for the first time. When you build a stadium such as Audi Field, it's an opportunity for us to have a long-term impact. And when we look at the materials we use, obviously our solar panels, that really helps us to be more energy efficient. The usage of LED lights to help save energy for our building, those are really important things for us to continue to grow and also be good stewards. Sustainability is not only about our building. When we're all long and gone, there's going to be our children that are left behind. And we have to invest in them in a different type of way. And for us, it's about creating access through sport. And through our partnership with Audi and DC Scores, we have just that opportunity. DC Scores is an award-winning after-school program that combines soccer and our poet athletes are writing and performing original works of poetry. We've partnered with Audi for many years, and I can say, Seeing our kids on field with star players from Bayern is definitely the pinnacle thus far for that partnership. We got a couple of new teammates joining us today. Woo. Let's introduce yourselves, say hello real quick, and let's get them involved. It's amazing to support the kids because they will grow up, they will have to adapt to life, and to make them feel special is, uh, I think, one of the most amazing things you can do to kids. That's why what Audi is doing here with DC Scores. It's an amazing project. It's very good for the children. They can go out to play some soccer, do some activities together, and especially for us as well, when we play soccer with them in the DC United field, it was a pleasure for us, and it gives a lot of good feelings back to us. These kids are not just athletes, you know, you can see some of them have some talent on the pitch, but also to enhance their ability to learn, to express themselves in a different way. You know, I've, I've heard uh, some poems today, crazy, crazy poems. It really hit deep because these are real life situations they're going through. If I get gunned down in the middle of the street, I don't want to be a hashtag. That won't support my family. I don't want to be an RIP, a 4L, or never forget because at the end of the day, we always forget. I don't want to be a hashtag. I want to be remembered. I'm so far from factual, you will call me supernatural. Thought people were riding, but I realized they were detachable. And I'm scratching a radical with a mind so imaginable. I'm a tactical lyricist with a flow that's so adaptable. What? I hope you're ready. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Fonzo. Pull up and ball like I'm Lonzo. Keep him now like I'm chilling with Rondo. Got some homies that stay in Toronto. Sustainability is nothing without human stewardship. And so much, I think, of good positive youth development is for our poet athletes to see themselves as something bigger than their school, their neighborhood, their city. When you were young, you'd looked up to like certain players and people and kids who have like the biggest smile on their faces. It's just like a really nice feeling and um, obviously it's always good to do that. So these kids, they're, they're remarkable, you know, not just athletes, remarkable humans as well. At the end of the day, finding ways that you can help create a sustainable environment through your everyday actions is something we encourage for each and every one of us. So what feels good to you? What's something that you can do on a daily basis to help us create a more sustainable environment?